1851, in what is now known as Iraq, archaeologist and explorer Sir Austin Henry Layard discovered a library with 22,000 tablets containing what we know to be the earliest writings on Earth. The writings date back to over 6,000 years ago when the region was known as Mesopotamia, Sumer, and Babylon. Amongst these vast writings is a story which mirrors the book of Genesis in the Bible. It tells a story of a great flood which reshaped the face of the planet Earth and all of her inhabitants. It tells a story of a tower built... In a we are at the famous site of the giant footprint, or the footprint of God, here near um, Mpaluzi in South Africa, very co close to the Swaziland border. Now this is one of the greatest examples of an ancient footprint a giant footprint about four feet high in rough granite it's between 200 million and 3 billion years old that's what geologists will tell you I'm going to just take you if you follow me up to the top where it's imprinted against the side of the rock which means it's been around for so long that the tectonic plates and the movements have actually pushed it up at the, the apex of this little outcrop it's quite spectacular so just walk with me and I'll show you There we have it. Let's uh, get closer. Oh wow. Uh, this is just beautiful. Look at this. There's the, you know when you, the big, there's the big toe and the other four toes down to the small toe, down to the heel. What's fascinating about this is anybody, anybody that, that does a study of this will notice this piece sticking out here. It's like when you put your foot in mud and you pull it out, your toes will lift up a little mud where your toes were. And that's exactly what seems to have happened here. This rough granite is just it's pulled up. I came across with this article in the German news website Build about a giant mummified humanoid finger photographed by the Swiss entrepreneur and researcher Gregor Spurry during one of his trips to Egypt for investigate the pyramids of Giza. According to the article, he managed to make contact with a man who lives in the vicinity of Cairo, allegedly a member of a dynasty of grave robbers. He supposedly has kept the 40 centimeters mummified finger since the 60s, and apparently the Swiss photographer is the first person to get photos of the artifact. Gregory Spory also took pictures of a 40-year-old X-ray image, alongside with a supposed medical certified of authenticity. Unfortunately the images available in the German website have low resolution, but I give them some tweaks in Photoshop for the sake of this video. The comparison with the Egyptian money give us the exact idea of the size of the finger. Keep in mind that's extremely old and dehydrated, and it probably was originally bigger than that. The body which the finger belonged, most likely was not less than 5 meter tall, and assuming it's 100% authentic, it constitutes the smoking gun proof of the existence of the giant Nephilim, reported by ancient civilizations of Mesopotamia as well as the Mediterranean and Indus Valley. The photos of Gregory Spuri inside and outside the pyramids, give no room for allegations of a possible hoax, and according to his personal website, he's about to release a book with details about his research work, assisted by consultants with expertise in astrophysics, astronomy and Egyptology, as well as the legendary researcher and author Eric von Daniken. I just sent him an email, and he quickly answered me back confirming it's not a hoax. Though, I'm afraid I'm not gonna get further details, unless I buy his book. Anyway the case is promising, and surely deserves close attention. It surely would be great, if a DNA test was carried out in this finger but I'm having a hard time thinking that the man who is holding it will make any move towards being tracked down by Egyptian authorities, and even if they manage to find him, definitely they will not allow information about this artifact going any further than that. Bundled in a corner of somewhere in the arms of nowhere Struggle for
Face of a tie. 